Hi, my name is Detroit Miracle, and this lesson, this fine evening, is about change. Do any of you wonder where did that word come from, or why is that word considered to be regarding a, an applied method? Well, when you say change, or even think of changing a set of circumstances or, or a circumstance in particular in your life, it usually involves removing something that is unwanted and not necessarily something that is bad for you because there are some bad things that we like and that we prefer. You say such as drinking and smoking and gambling and even partying. But that is another story. Well, we have existings in life, and those existings are things that go on around us and affect us in a particular way. And just say some of which is bad, and we certainly do not want the bad things that we do not like. So people regard change in a way to take away whatever is unwanted. But why is that very thing? Why are those very unwanted around in the first place? Well, I'm going to tell you, they are around because the majority decided in their favor to keep them there or to bring them into being in the very first place. Yes, it is the majority. When you see something bad happening, or a lot of bad happening in particular, or bads of varieties, then it means that the majority has decided that those bad things remain or be brought into the equation at some point. Yes, it's as simple as that. For an example, say you see a lady and she has a, a, a gambling problem in which she goes out and gambles away her money reckless, recklessly without any care in the matter. And that is a, a bad that should be removed from the equation. And that woman would hope and want a change in her life to remove that bad. But in a case, that is a bad that she wants and doesn't want at the same time. Because even if she won a lot of money, that still wouldn't necessarily make it right. But, but the reason why that is a bad existing is because many of the majority has decided that that form of bad remain, which is casinos that abuse their privileges and takes advantage of people who make bad decisions and choices that way. And those places prey on people's weaknesses to gamble more and more away in hopes of winning back what they lost and winning more than what they've previously won or staked. But that is another story also. But that thing change, which is used and applied, is in regards to bad things, bad circumstances, bad happenings and bad occurrences in which we would seek to re to remove from our entire situations. So I hear you hear people all the time say, I want to change this. I want to change that. And sometimes such change might involve, let's say, making a better decision than a previous one. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're trying to change something from bad to good, but maybe something from good into something even better. So there are cases where that may be or may have been, but that thing change as a whole comes from us recognizing and indicating the bad things occurrences and circumstances in our lives in which we would seek to remove. So we want to change those all together for a better set of circumstances and conditions in our very lives.
So change is frequently applied and change is applied by the great majority. And that thing and those things that we would seek to remove from the entire picture were also decided, brought in and kept by the majority at the same time. And a lot of those things of bad set of circumstances resulting from bad choices are, are things that, that were usually generational. Like, um, for example, racism, which is a complete foolish way of thinking and behaving, and most certainly even dumber to apply that, because it makes absolutely no sense. They, hey, I could see if there were, to say the entire bear species rose up to attack humanity and subjugate them and take over, but how can you have humans like fighting against and going against other humans because the color of their skin is different? And that's a that's something that many would seek to change and remove, but it was a a bad that was brought into the equation and carried through generationally. And yes, generational practices are taught, learned, applied and carried through to later generations. But the wisest ones would recognize that those such things and that such thing is a bad that should be removed and taken out of the entire equation altogether. So the word change comes up there frequently. Remember when um, when change is indicated, spoken, written, and decided upon, it's usually because one or ones would seek to remove something bad or things that are bad from their set of circumstances altogether. And when that word is no longer used, thought of, indicated, or applied, then that would mean that we would live in a utopian perspective society where all are appreciative of one another and each other as well as what they have, what they've gained and what they've built. Then change would no longer be a conceptual, conceptual word, thought or idea unless the non-contentious spirit drives us to even better or even want to better those set of circumstances within a an existing utopian society and then change would be applied again and once more but it would not be in a case where one would just seek to remove something completely bad and wrong but rather to better a better set of circumstances of an existing altogether. Well, this is Detroit Miracle. If you guys enjoyed this video, please put a like and a comment in the comment section. And all of you are welcome to subscribe to my channel if y'all haven't already. Thanks for tuning in.